Hey, good morning everybody. Clint here with CCUA. Here for a very warm edition of a farm tour. A nice toasty morning. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of walk around the farm today. Take a look at what's new, what's different, what's growing. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since we did one of these, so ought to be fun to see all the changes. Uh, you can see right here at the entrance to our farm, we've got lots of beautiful flowers the great time of the year for them getting a new gate installed uh, you can see we've got a cover on our greenhouse here and I'll I'll show you why that is we actually well we did have it filled with garlic I think we must have processed most of it but you can see there's still big old pile of it in here got some new plants started all these trays oh and here's some of our garlic lots and lots and lots of it actually feels really good in this greenhouse with this cover on it let's see I wonder what they were seeding here Oh, got some turnips. See, we're uh, trying to catch a critter. See, it's been crawling under our greenhouse. No luck catching it yet. Probably a cat. They love hanging around. So you can see we're going to walk through the, the field here. And it is just lush. Our peppers are knee high, tomatoes even taller, lots of bugs, lots of bugs. You can't walk around without one trying to fly in your face. Our kale is just absolutely monstrous underneath this. And you can see we got starting to get lots of sunflowers, more and more and more. Our tomatoes are looking awesome. No red ones on there yet, but lots of big green ones. I actually was able to pull uh, some sun gold cherry tomatoes off of my plants in the outdoor classroom. We'll take a look at those towards the end. See lots of little cucumbers. So let this be a lesson. Don't let anybody tell you it's too late to plant your summer vegetables. And look at these beautiful zinnias. There's such a bright pop of color. Sweet potatoes. Got some absolutely awesome volunteers helping us pull weeds out here. Thank you. <laughs> some carrots chard and our okra is getting taller and taller and taller i bet we've got some some okra on there i always love the okra blossoms too one of my one of my favorite i wonder if i can find a, an example in here this is going to make me itch for sure there's one beautiful okra blossom okra is one of those that i love to eat but such a pain to grow it's because you have to harvest so often almost every day mimosa flowers still blooming and then of course lots of fennel uh, echinacea purple poppy mallow look at that big old bee in there just going to town actually was able to come out here the other day and harvest a lot of these uh, a lot of these flowers and I made some tea with them it turned out really good actually you can see our fig tree here We've got lots of little figs then our bee balm is just about done which makes me pretty sad it's so tasty such a tasty flower Yep, even this stuff back here is all gone. Probably be 
thinning these strawberries out very, very, very soon. Our basil here kind of needs to be deadheaded a little bit. We'll probably come down and do that today. Bees busy as always. And our rain garden's just looking ginormous. Uh-oh, I spy down here some blackberries. There's still a little bit of red on them, so I won't pick them quite yet. But lots of ripe ones on our vines here. Let's see if we can find a couple. Oh, here's a few. Mm, beautiful blackberries. We got some squash over here that's looking really good. A little bit of powdery mildew on the leaves, but it's pretty hard to pretty hard to avoid. We got one sad plant here. Looks like it could be a, a vine borer. Could be some damage from the vine borers in there. They got my pumpkins this year. I don't think they're gonna make it until they produce actual pumpkins, which is pretty sad. But we'll take a look at the outdoor classroom real quick. See what new is going on over there. We've got our giant sunflowers here. They've got to be 15, 14, 15 feet tall at this point. Our peppers are looking great. We're starting to get some flowers on there. Kale is donezo, unfortunately. And like I said, our pumpkins are are looking real sad and just as one of them started to ripen up too. But you can see, well maybe we can see what is going, oh yeah here is uh, you can see the stem has just been hollowed out essentially. Those vine borers will get in there and they'll just eat the inside of the stems and it just kills the whole plant. And there's some things that you can do to help prevent that but in general, once it starts, it's uh, really tough to stop. Our ground cherries I've been snacking on. We've been getting a few, few tasty ground cherries. And if you've never had a ground cherry, you're missing out for sure. But you want to wait until they fall off. They get nice and papery. And then you can just peel it back. And you end up with this lovely little berry. With a nice sweet taste. Starting to get some sun peach tomatoes. I'm super excited for those to finish up. Starting to get some sun gold tomatoes too. I actually had a couple of these ripe that I ate the other day. But other than that, I think our little outdoor classroom is looking pretty good. Some beets here that are sizing up. Lots of really yummy basil. Our pepino melon. We've got one of them that's looking good. The other ones are a bit sad. I think they need a bit more sun than I realized. But I guess that's what a first year growing a vegetable is for, is learning about it. And then our, our mouse melons, our Mexican sour gherkins, are doing well climbing this trellis. They're really making it up there and you can see here's one of them. Kind of hard to see in this lighting but maybe if we go to the other side. Yeah. Well hard to get the focus right but you kind of get the idea. Well, Those will just keep going up and up and up and over and really they'll cover the whole thing. They were supposed to go up both sides and then meet in the middle, but these ones over here are pretty stunted. I'm not totally sure what's going on with those. Oh, and then the last thing is our, our loofahs, which are just going absolutely wild. Got our little uh, loofah cave here. We started producing flowers yet, which I think is probably due to it being so hot.
but hopefully we'll get a little cool spell and we'll get some nice loofahs going. Well, thanks for joining us today, everybody. It's always fun to do. Get a show.